Hello everyone. Today I'm joined by my little furry friends, Queenie and Yayik. Yayik is Queenie's son. I know they don't look very much alike, but he is one of her litter. And last night they decided to join me to sleep in the yurt. Which we enjoyed very much. So this morning I thought we could film a little ASMR massage, cuddle session with them. I'll speak for now, but later on I want to move the microphone to them so you can really listen to their beautiful purrs. And they're all settled in now, enjoying themselves. Today is a cloudy day, it probably will rain, so it's a perfect day to just stay cozy and enjoy this lovely bed. This bed is from Birch Living and um, we enjoy it very much. It's super, super comfortable and gives us the best sleep. They're made out of organic and natural materials, such as 100% organic wool. It's super convenient to set up, so it just comes in a box all rolled up and you can set it up easily by yourself. And every night I look forward to sleeping on this mattress with my cats. We fall asleep so easily and we wake up feeling super refreshed. Ever since I started sleeping on a Birch Living mattress, I haven't had any back pain the way I did with previous mattresses and I'm so incredibly grateful for that. It's also great at regulating my body temperature, so on warm days it keeps me cool and on cold days like we're having now, it keeps me toasty warm. The Birch Living mattress is GOTS and Green Guard Gold certified. It's also hypoallergenic and mildew resistant. So for everyone watching, if you're looking for a new bed, I highly recommend checking out Birch Living. You can visit the link in my description box and pinned comment for 20% off your first order and two free eco rest pillows. With each Birch Living mattress, you also get a 100 night sleep trial and a 25 year warranty. Birch Living delivers your mattress straight to your door for free in the US and they also offer at home setup and removal to make your buying experience as convenient as possible. Okay, now let's move on to the massage. Just using slow movements. So as not to overstimulate Queenie. Very, very gentle. Hypnotic movements. She really loves this. She loves when I trace the side of her face. The other side.
looks like she's got her eyes closed and she's about to fall asleep. <coughs> Sorry, sweetheart. So I'm keeping my movement slow and relaxed. She's so tiny, you can hardly believe she's a mother of five. We adopted out the rest of her litter. We have flies with us today. It's part of the season. So we welcome them. Now I'm going to also trace Yayek. Yayek is already fast asleep. from the tip of his nose all the way up to the top of his head. Tracing along his spine towards his tail. Just love the way he curves up like this. A little ball. He's so relaxed right now. So relaxed. I'm going to move the microphone to Yayik. See, he's really purring right now. Queenie's been sleeping with me almost every night. She loves joining me here. Yeah, it comes every now and then, and other times Taxi will join in. Although Taxi and Queenie don't get along very well, sometimes they'll sleep together, but on different ends of the bed. Most of the time, Queenie sleeps with me on her own, or Yayek joins her. It's very sweet. It's my love. Are you nestling in? safe and sound, sweetheart. You're safe with me. There's no one that can hurt you here. Here it is your sanctuary.
feel so lucky to have them in my life. When we moved to the farm over a year ago, we had no idea that the farm came with Queenie and her litter of five kittens. And Taxi's brother, Goldie, who is now back with his family in Romania. And Taxi decided to stay behind. She came to us later and found us. We adopted out Queenie's other kittens one by one. We kept Yaik. A special bond with Yaik. It's definitely the sweetest and gentlest out of the three. Taxi can be quite sassy and demanding. Queenie, quite the same, maybe not as, not as much as Taxi. Giving a little attention to her tail. Extension of her spine, so beautiful. I love her silky, shiny coat. Indication that she's in good health. I want to give her a little check. I want to check her for ticks. I check them regularly for ticks and try to take as many off as possible. Thankfully, cats don't get Lyme disease, so it's not as concerning, but I try my best to make sure they're tick-free. Noticing a little one right here. Which I'll take off in a second when I grab my tiki. Just make a note of where I notice all the ticks. To just clean off her eyes. She tends to have some discharge accumulate around her eyes, so I just clean that off for her. Let's see if she has any other little critters in her fur. Noticing another one. There, let me see, sweetheart. Oh no, that's just a scab from a previous tick bite. That's not an issue. So, so far, just one on the right side here. And let me check this side. And her chin. Do you have any on her chin? Generally with cats, they only you only find ticks around their face where they can't get at it with their tongue. That's it. Oh. Noticing one right here on the left side as well. I'll be sure to take care of that. <laughs> one right here too that you couldn't get at yourself. <laughs> Let's check here. Normally 
wish you can get out all the fur around here, but sometimes we notice one or two she missed. Nope, you did a good job over there. The rest of your fur, let's check the rest of your fur, okay. anything here. You're doing a great job. I'm so glad you're taking good care of yourself. And I'm sure Yayak has been grooming you as well. It's being very sweet right now. Let's go ahead and check Yayak. Yayak, I'm just going to check you for ticks, okay? Sweet boy. Has your mom been grooming you well? He's a year and a half now, so very much an adult. But as you can see, he still acts like a baby towards his mom. Noticed anything so far? Let's check. Oh, I see one right here. The back of your ears. Okay, it's just a tiny little one. So, so far, Queenie's got one here, one there. Yeah, I go over there. Oh, I feel another one here. Always tends to be around the ears, it's where we find them. Make a note of that. Anything on the top of your head, sweetheart? The sides. I don't think so. the rest of your fur. Doing amazing. I love how beautiful your fur is as well, yeah. yeah. Very good health. Very shiny. We feed them once a day. And they're also our working cats and they control our rodent population. So they get food for themselves as well. They're definitely semi-feral, <laughs> but so well socialized at this point. At first, for the first few months, they were quite afraid of us. It took some time before they became accustomed to our touch and our presence. And now, can, you can hardly tell that they're barn cats. They're very loving, very friendly to everyone they meet. They, of course, don't get along with my dog, Ash. Ash will chase them. But we have safe spaces around the farm where the cats can be, where Ash won't bother them. So it's really helpful.
last part here, I just want to give my little babies lots of love. I enjoy their presence so much. All these flies are with us today. <laughs> and <clears throat> I know that these babies, I know I don't have forever with them, so. I want to just cherish every moment that I have. Show them how much I love them. How much I care about. The time we spend together. How much I adore watching them play and eat and sleep. They're so cute when they sleep. And I'm so grateful that they feel so safe with me. It's such a gift. I love you, Queenie. And I love you, Yayik. Thank you. For everyone watching, I hope you have a good night's sleep. And if you have pets around, cats or dogs, give them some extra love and attention, some kisses. Their lives are so short, but they really are so precious. And they bring so much joy and wonder into our lives. Let's never take advantage of them or take them for granted. And I know they feel the same about us, that they cherish us just as much as we cherish them. Good night, everyone. Good night, Queenie. Or rather, good, good morning nap, Queenie. Good napping, Yayik. Sweet dreams. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.